my dear friends dear subscribers uh, yet another video uh, this time uh, i have come with medical legal cases and police information no once you join uh, when once you have joined any medical college or any government hospital or any private hospital whether you are working under the capacity of casualty medical officer or pg resident or a consultant you are bound by medical legal case formalities there's everyone all everyone of us should know ke how to make a medical legal um, form how to fill up the medical legal form and what is it is important and what important precautions you have to take while filling up the medical legal form so that you yourself don't land up in problem because i have find many times um, at the time of making medical legal the doctor is in so much uh, hurry but later on when they are uh, received the summon from the court and where uh, very type of questions are asked to them depending upon what they have written they are caught in the court and they are uh, really i mean they have to pass through a very bad time if you have not done the medical legal formalities uh, properly so this medical legal case uh, um, uh, cases first uh, i have just taken few points first thing is very important ki what are the medical legal case and how to identify medical legal cases when you are working mainly the first reporting area of the medical legal case is a emergency department of any hospital and you being a pg resident or medical officer or casualty medical officer or sometimes a consultant also they, they visit uh, um, uh, emergency department they all should know how to how properly to make the medical legal cases and how to report it to the police information so any case any case that requires a, in, a, a interference of a, a legal system so that a proper justice can be uh, given to the victim or accused this comes under the category of uh, uh, medical legal cases so uh, one of the very important thing is to identify and should know the and, and what cases comes in the category of medical legal cases so that you don't miss it while you are working in the casualty because under uh, section 39 crpc uh, a medical officer or a treating doctor is bound to do medical legal formalities properly and if he fails to do that then un under the indian penal code 176 and 202 they are uh, they can be subjected to some sort of punishment so to avoid all this you should know so anything where you believe the 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 the, the cause is unnatural they they will come under the category of medical legal cases for example any homicide any suicide any assault any road traffic accident any sort of poisoning snake bite animal bite electrocution burns this long list of it which the 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 thing which comes in the category of medical legal cases but for you it's very important to see whenever anything unnatural is involved in any case don't forget to make a medical legal case and treat it as a medical legal case because treating other patients and treating medical legal patients a bit different i have got so many points so i will be taking these points one by one the first i told that you you should be uh, able to identify the medical legal cases second is the writing the medical legals and sending the police information so every hospital has got their own uh, pre uh, described performa which uh, is given to you and uh, uh, where you have to do a medical legal entries now most of the time these entries are done by the medical officer or the casualty medical officer in my medical college i say i tell you that uh, this is a uh, um, medical legal book that is given to the casualty medical officer this sort of book is there where the medical legal formality is done in triplicate now so um, we have got uh, one uh, form which is, which is pink colored form and it does with the same number we have got two more forms so the medical legal formality has to done in the triplicate or three um, you have to attach two carbon and and so that you get a three copy of your medical legal cases the some of the hospital they keep original with you but in our hospital we send the original one to the nearest uh, police station or we hand it over to the police and uh, the rest to we keep it with us uh, for uh, one goes to the respective department one is for 
the um, uh, for the record of the medical officer which he keeps with himself now what are the various details that is required to be entered in the medical legal performa which is generally common in all sort of performa wherever you are working so so i'll just read out few important things i tell you the importance of it which you have to take care while you are filling the medical legal performa it 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 has in it a date and time of examination which is very very important whenever you have received the time you have received the patient is very important it might be the incidence has happened some a long time back or some few hours back or day back but the time when you have seen the patient the injuries might be uh, this the, the 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 nature of the uh, i mean uh, the with the duration the staging of the injury will also change so it is important that you mention date and time then comes the name of the patient then uh, his son of or daughter of then his age then address of the patient or or the or the or the patient has to be entered then the columns come of identification mark you have to enter enter at least two identification mark mark of the patient that can be any mole and try to uh, mention the identification mark which is in the exposed area like a face neck hands or feet these are the areas which are exposed so identification mark can be any mole any uh, scar any old scar mark any tattoo or uh, any other marks that is that is visible if they comes in the category of identification mark that you have to mention another important thing is who has brought the patient whether a patient relative or some passer by or police who have asked who have brought the patient to you they have to mention it and try to take mobile number of the of the uh, person who have brought the patient that is very important then if if some police or somebody has requested to make the medical legal uh, performa you have to enter his name then second next come the point is the history and uh, um, and alleged causes of the injury so we we, we write the alleged history of roadside accident near teddy pulia at around 1 pm when the patient was going on his motorcycle he was hit by a car which was coming from front so this was the this will tell you side of uh, uh, incidents the time of incidents and how the incidents took place then another important point is you have to take care to mention list by list all the injuries that uh, the patient has sustained the injury can be in the form of incised wound lacerated wound abrasion laceration contusion fracture or tenderness all these thing you have to Uh, mention point by point. For example, if you tell you if the patient has got a a brazen on bilateral news, uh, 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 bilateral uh, knees, then uh, in the descriptive form we have to mention the patient has got a brazen of around four into three centimeter, which which is fresh and found on bilateral knees. So like that, step by step manner, and don't miss any injuries. You take some time and expose the patient. put the patient behind the curtain expose the patient from tip to toe you examine the patient and try to mention all the injuries that you are there in in most of the medical legal performa a blank sketch of the body will be available and in that blank sketch of the body you mention whether it is laceration abrasion and the area that so that by see, just seeing the uh, your uh, uh, body uh, diagram they will come to know what uh, which area is in uh, is involved so detail injury so most of the time it is called injury report also so the don't try don't miss this area and you have to mention then finding the then what are the general finding whether the patient was conscious oriented what was the bp what is pel- uh, pulse then gcs score by 15 by 15 10 by 15 whatever it is you have to mention that will give you some idea that what was the status of the patient when the patient was first brought Uh, uh, to your uh, casualty and when you have seen the patient then the number of additional seats if any what you have att- attached now whether the patient was observed uh, admitted not admitted or kept under observation or the patient has expired in the casualty or the patient is referred this thing you have to mention then uh then uh, what type of injury whether it is simple i will take it in my letter of course but whether the simple injury or grievous injury if you are very sure about the simple or grievous injury you mention that that is a simple or grievous if you are not sure you say that it will be de- uh, it will be defined later on after all the uh, investigations are done and the and the specialists have given their opinion you need not give your first hand opinion uh, at the time of uh, uh, when the you have seen the patient uh, 
uh, might be patient has got some fracture which will which can only be revealed by uh, seeing uh, his x-rays but when, once you have uh, filled this M mlc uh, if sometimes we say the patient has got severe uh, head injury or gcs is low or general condition very poor in that case and, and there is um, bony crepts are there so that case you, you can write uh, that the patient has got grievous injury otherwise don't mention whether it is grievous or simple injury then uh, there is a left hand impression for the uh, male patient and right hand and uh, right thumb impression sorry right thumb impression for the female patient that has to, to is that is to be taken and you have to circle it and you have to counter sign that then you write the date and place where this mlc is done then uh, put your signature write your name and write your uh, designation so this is short of mlc performa that is available in our hospital that you have to fill uh, while you have seen some medical legal cases now another important thing is that along with the medical legal you have to send a police information so in police information you have to attach the original seat of your medical legal and again this has to be sent in the triplicate in the in this type of police information book you have where uh, it, it's, it's available in our hospital, it's available in Hindi like that Aaj Dinang Itna Ko Itna Samay Hamare Aspital Mein Yeh Mariz Laya Gya Mariz Ka Naam Umbr Link Pita Ka Naam Pata Uska uh, CR Number Registration Number Bimari uh, kya hai mariz ko aur mariz ko lane wale ka pata aur saath mein medical legal ki, ki copy attach hai is tarah se hum copy attach karke patient ki police information report hum bhej dete hain koshish karenge ki ye jaldi se jaldi police ko medical legal aur um, police ki suchna aapki taraf se chali so, so this is very very important that you should send this mlc report and pi book timely not that you have made it now you are sending in uh, in after 24 hours or 48 hours is does not hold any importance so you have to be very sure that you have timely entered all this thing and you have sent uh, police information so this is I, what it told how to write them but then is uh, very important sometimes you find the patient is brought dead to you so uh, most of the time in the broad dead cases it is very important that you should uh, do uh, at least you should inform the police, police and send the PI to the nearest police station but sometimes you get to know the some patient who are already suffering from some cardiac disease or suffering from some carcinoma or something which can be the cause of death in that case you can skip informing to the police otherwise the broad dead cases where you have got slightest doubt you do one thing you send the, uh, the police information wrap the body uh, label it properly and send it to the post-mortem house for the post-mortem and further uh, uh, further uh, take on what, what is done to the patient then next is comes you issuing the death certificate in the medical legal cases so uh, in medical legal cases also if the you are treating the patient the casualty and the patient expires during the treatment you have to send the death certificate but if you have sent the patient for the post-mortem please do not enter cause of death in that column you write that core or cause of death will be uh, informed after the post-mortem uh, has been done and the, the report is available. Rest of the formalities you can fill in the um, death certificate uh, uh, because th th that is one of the important thing and that, that is uh, um, what a patient seek because uh, in, um, further the patient might have some insurance or something he will be needing for that so uh, this is how to deal with the broad dead cases in the death certificate then next is handing out the objects some, so most of the time you see that the, the, the when the patient comes to you and the, or, uh, if the patient is unknown or a patient is unattended you and the patient is broad dead you get uh, uh, we find that so many things are along, uh, along with the patient like some jewelries or cash so you have to um, take out all these things from the patient body make a complete list of it enter it whatever cash you get you enter it note wise a 500 rupees note 4 2000 100 rupees note 10 1000 like that make a whole list of it wrap it properly then with the seal you seal the uh, the whole thing uh, generally we'll, uh, we wrap it in the um, co cotton cloth so everything is sealed properly 
and label properly and on the top yet we, we fix a label which shows what is the, is the content of it and same thing we mentioned in our PI book and then that has to be sent to the PI. Sometimes there is a gunshot injury while, while operating or while the, the, you get uh, you find some bullets or pellets so that again you have to seal it and send it to the uh, police station writing that during the surgery this thing was, was present along with it if the, the case is of poisoning you have done gastric lavas the gastric lava sample blood sample or in a firearm injury cloth of the patient these all things have become very very important that you should take it out and you proper label it seal it and send it to the police uh, in uh, um, this, uh, and send it to the uh, to, to the police uh, uh, station so that a uh, further action can be taken so then uh, another very important thing what i find in the casualty is there something different when you get the patient of sexual abuse cases and, you, and how to examine it this is very very important aspect in the casualty department because such cases rape victim uh, they are very um, broken from inside you have to treat this patient very gently very emotionally and with the full humanity and you have to uh, uh, involve the, the one person from the forensic department and one person uh, from the uh, obstetric and gynecology department uh, to complete the medical legal uh, formalities uh, you do your formalities what were the performance available to you and then for rest of the examination the gynae people will be having uh, their separate performer where everything will, uh, will, be, uh, will be written and they will be taking swab from the patient like vaginal swab, anal swab, swab oral swab then uh, pubic hairs and whatever thing is there so many things are there and now at present scenario we get a ready-made box ready-made kit for the examination that kit contains everything you need not uh, arrange the thing from outside that kit contains everything just uh, have few kits available in your hospital and uh, if such victims are there you you uh, uh, you take use of that kit and try to uh, um, to, to take uh, uh, as many sample as uh, what is uh, listed over there including cloth of the patient then the, this type of the patient has to be handled very very gently and uh, never try to uh, examine that that patient if you are male doctor always have some female doctor along with you when you are examining that patient resting uh, as in our hospital is done by ops and gynae department and one person from the forensic department finally we all uh, put a signature and all the uh, the the samples in the sealed envelope are handed over to the police for to be sent to the forensic lab so that uh, some uh, report can be uh, can be obtained so uh, this is how you we deal with the sexual abuse patient, uh, patient. then and the next important thing is in the uh, in the emergency department is about the dying declaration so as per the indian evidence act 32 the dying declaration has to be taken in the patient which you feel that patient will not survive after uh, some time in that case it's the responsibility of casualty medical officer or if the patient is admitted in the ward it's the responsibility of the resident doctor who is available over there to send the police information seeking dying declaration the police officer will send a, a message or communicate to the magistrate of your city and he will either he will come himself or he will arrange his team so send somebody from his team that uh, um, uh, who will take dying declaration of the of the patient before taking dying declaration the magistrate or the police personnel will ask whether the patient is 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 medically sound to give declaration or not so you judge the patient and see the patient if the patient has well oriented to time place and person then you write the patient is fit to give a statement if you uh, don't find such thing right patient is not fit to uh, give a statement then they will go back and they will come after some time or another day or next day to uh, to um, to um, uh, take uh, dying declaration of the patient. So in uh, in in some sense we feel you see you find that the magistrate is has not come on time or there is some delay in coming. Then the casualty medical officer or medical officer can also take uh, uh, dying declaration along with the two persons who are neither related to you or neither related to that uh, person who is giving uh, uh, who is giving dying declaration. Then uh, you take the dying declaration and. Uh, all all three of you put signature 
uh, in it and you can send that dangling declaration to the nearest police uh, station so that uh, further action uh, can be taken so dang declaration is very very important in dang declaration is, uh, is only taken on the in, in those patient who also believe that the, now they have got very less time or sometimes after giving a dying declaration, the patient survives. In that case, that dying declaration does not hold much importance. The patient again, like other person, he will have to go to the court of law and he will have to repeat uh, whatever he has to say or he will be summoned from the court. Then last topic is a simple injury and the grievous injury. What I told, uh, I will just tell you about what things come under the um, grievous injury. Now, the, the grievous injury comes, uh, there, there are few things that comes under, under the grievous injury is emasculation in, in the, when the male patient, some their external, external genitalia has been uh, harmed or sometimes it is chopped. Then uh, there is any uh, permanent damage to the eye, there is permanent uh, damage to the ear, uh, ear. There is some privation of the uh, membrane, there is dislocation of the joint, there is fracture of the bone, there is, there is loss of the, of the teeth. And then uh, if, the, if, if the injury has got has caused very severe and severe pain to the patient and the patient is not able to do his physical activity for uh, more than 20 days so all this thing and comes under the category of grievous injury because the punishment for grievous injury is different than the punishment for the simple injury then one last thing which i have just uh, written is attending someone in the court of law but if you have done the medical legal formality you will be called in the court of law to say or repeat whatever you have seen just like i will tell you that today only i have uh, i today only i have just attended one someone in the court of law this is how you are summoned in this summon it will be written that you doctor this and this of this hospital who has uh, made the uh, medical legal um, case of this patient on this date uh, and with this registration number and you are uh, are directed to attend court of law at 10 a.m. on 12-6 so that um, uh, your evidence can be taken. So once you go to the court of law, your evidence is taken and finally you get attendance certificate and you can be relieved from court. So this is how you attend the summon in the court of law. I hope that this video will help all of you very much and uh, you will be very careful while doing medical legal formalities so and at last once again i would like all of you to please please and please subscribe my, my video my next video i will tell you how to deal with the functional patient we all come across so many functional patients who just waste our time in the emergency de department how to identify them and how to treat them i will take that in my next video i thank you all so much for subscribing me please once again those who have not subscribed please subscribe my channel thanks a lot thank you very much